Get to all that in just a moment, but first we're following breaking news. It appears in the past 20 minutes, former Charlotte Mayor Patrick Cannon has indeed arrived at a federal prison in Morgantown, West Virginia, to turn himself in to begin his 44-month prison sentence. Let's get right to NBC Charlotte's Rad Berkey, who's live there in West Virginia with the very latest. Rad, what have you seen? Well, Ben, we can now confirm that the Federal Bureau of Prisons has told us that Patrick Cannon did, in fact, surrender right here at the prison at 1140 this morning. It's a little hard for us to see what happened, but let's go right to the video and we'll show you. What you are going to see is a black SUV pull up to the guardhouse there. Then a white pickup truck, which is from the prison, also pulls up. Now, what happens next is pretty much blocked behind the guardhouse. We're limited as to where we can be. We cannot be on prison property, but you will see very briefly a man move into that white pickup truck. That, we believe, was in fact Patrick Cannon at the moment that he surrendered. The white pickup truck then took off and took a very circuitous route around the back of the prison while the black SUV pulled out. The white pickup truck then went around behind the administration building, which is right behind me here, and that was the last we saw of anything. Again, we are off the property. The prison is not talking to us at all, not saying anything, but the Federal Bureau of Prisons in Washington, D.C. has now confirmed to us that former Mayor Patrick Cannon did, in fact, turn himself in here about 20 minutes ago. Live at the Federal Institution, Rad Berkey, NBC Charlotte.